I think hair loss is becoming more common, um, and I'll give reasons for that, but I think that also um, there's more awareness of hair loss, both in the media, the public, um, trichology, there's more trichological clinics. Um, so the public are more aware of seeking help. Right. However, there are certain things that definitely give rise to why it is, it is um, increasing, particularly on the women. With men, it's mostly going to be genetic hair loss, and it's always been mostly genetic hair loss. But with women, you've got um, increased menstruation, you've got iron deficiency, a lot of women are dieting. Hair, hair is a wonderful barometer, and it picks up a lot of these things. So they're having problems, and what's an interesting point is that early on in my career um, we used to see much more men than women. Most of the women we saw were for split ends and hair care. But because women are subjected to a lot of the stress that the men are and they're in responsible jobs, high executive positions, they're actually suffering from a lot of the hair loss ailments and hair conditions and scalp conditions that were, that were really just with the men. So the whole spectrum of seeing women with all these conditions has increased. But I think, as I said to you, I mean, women are much more on the pill now, so it regulates their menstruation. So they're more likely to be iron, more iron deficient. Um, more, more women than men are diet conscious. I think the men should be as well. But women are much more diet conscious. A lot of pressure is on, on fashion and clothes and slimming and so on. And as I said, hair is a very good barometer and it needs good nutrition to maximise the growing of the hair. So for those reasons, they're experiencing a lot more a lot more hair loss. On scalp conditions, um, stress is a major, major influence on producing dandruff and eczema and so on. Um, so again, they're more, they're more susceptible to the stress because of the positions they're in.